All right, what's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to this part four video. So we are one step closer to getting this thing done. And you know, we're at the home stretch for the most part. Just so we're, you know, two videos, hopefully if all goes according to plan, we're about two videos out from this being completely finished. But I wanna give a few quick shout outs to you guys. Mechanic Mace, White Samurai, Be So Easy, Hazard Suma and Zoe Andretti. Thank you all, you guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for those comments. Um, thanks for following along with this build. I hope you guys like where it's headed. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into what we're gonna be doing today. So obviously first thing when you are wrapping a car, it's gonna have to be really clean. So what I typically do is I'll do a really good wash the day before, because you also don't want any um, you know water or moisture when you are wrapping it. This must have been uh, painted previously. Um, it wasn't done too good. We're gonna just be sanding down touching up the rest of these spots. Go ahead and get the car washed, and then we'll pull it in, let it dry, and start wrapping it tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna knock out that hood real quick, and then I think I'm gonna do the entire top. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna try wrapping it um, black. So I'm gonna do the pillars and the roof all black. I saw a picture of an SC430 where the top was all wrapped black. And you know, I think that two-tone look really looked cool. So I'm gonna try it out. If it doesn't end up looking good, then you know, obviously I'll just take it off and I'll uh, wrap it all gray. But uh, let me know what you guys think. It's not a game. It's a red probably end up touching up some of these this was overspray from you know when, whenever it was repainted like rubber trim has silver paint on it mask this off and hit those silver spots with some black paint um, what I'm gonna work on now is I am actually going to work on these headlights so I have some stuff I'm gonna try to get rid of all of that haziness So I'm waiting for these coats to finish. Figure I show you the door handle. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I'm going with a little two-tone look. So we did uh, that Nardo on the face of it and then satin black on the sides. All right, so I just finished up this first headlight. So I'll show you guys the side-by-side -side real quick. Definitely got rid of some of that haziness, almost, you know, that greenish yellow hue. So this is the unfinished one. So this is the one I have not touched yet. So you can see it has like that yellowy, almost greenish hue to it. Um, and then this is the one I just finished up. Looks a lot more clear. And so if you guys are interested, uh, I could make a you know more in-depth video on how to do this, but it's super simple. All you need to do is wet sand the headlight. So I started with 400 grit and then I ended just with 600. So you just wet sand it with both of those and then you use this Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear. Make sure it's the non-yellowing. So this is gonna keep that headlight from yellowing at all. All right, and so real quick, I'm also gonna be swapping out all of these bulbs with LEDs.
Got that LED bulb in. I also changed out the side one. We're about to plug that back in, but that goes right there. Got this bottom marker light um, as well. But here's a look at the original bulb. So we're swapping that out. So let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. All right, so let's see if you guys can kind of tell the difference from there. Real quick, here's a look with the lights on. So you can see nice pure white light versus that. So we're getting there. left is the front bumper and a few little um, pieces here and there but what I'm gonna be trying to do is work on the tail lights a little bit to kind of make them look a little bit more modern I wanted to buy the uh, 2006 and up style but those would have been like $500 so that was definitely too much money since I'm just trying to save uh, money with this build so what I'm gonna try to do is I have some light smoke tail light tint I'm normally not a big fan of taillight tint. Do the same kind of light smoke with the side markers on the rear and the front bumper as well. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now, getting those taillights tinted. So you guys can kind of see a difference. This is the regular one, and this is the tinted one. So it's nothing that different. Um, kind of helps hide that orange a little bit. Right, so here's one more look. So we got the little marker, smoked, and the tail light. So this is what it looks like when I've got that light smoke on there. And then this is what it looks like just normally. So let me know what you guys think. I know it's pretty subtle, so some of you might not even really be able to tell a difference. But I actually really like it. I like it smoked. I think it definitely does make it look a little bit more modern. And with the Nardo gray and the black wheels and the rest of the black trim, I think just that light smoke is enough to make a difference, but not, you know, be too much. And so here's a look at those front side markers. So as you can see, the tinted one, it's not that drastic of a difference, but it's enough. There's in the sunlight. All right, so we've been working on repairing this bumper. So we just sanded down a bunch of those cracks and the chipping paint. And then we started repairing that little hole over here. So we did our first low layer of Bondo. This is a first coat over here. We just filled the license plate holder, little divots. I love these tools because you can use them to wipe it off cleanly so you don't have to sand too much. And then we just did a second coat filling the hole that was in the bumper right over here. So we'll sand those up. All right, so here's the last look at that front bumper. Got it all bondoed and sanded. Um, tinted those little yellow lights down there. So this is the last time you'll see it looking like this.
right, well, here it is, you guys. All wrapped in this Nardo gray. And then we did a satin black top. So we wrapped those pillars as well as the entire roof, all satin black. I love how it looks. It almost looks like a little spaceship. Got the headlights polished. All of the um, chrome was wrapped satin black as well. Replaced all of the bulbs with the LEDs. Same thing down here. We tinted both of those lights and that light smoke. Replaced those lights with the LEDs as well. Shout out to Adam's Daily Driveway. I did go ahead and try that out. I left a little bit on here so you guys could see if I could get the camera to focus. Um, so when this was repainted, there was a lot of overspray on the windows. All that overspray that was on there earlier off. So thank you so much for that. So let me know what you guys think of everything. I want to get your input. Do you like the color of the wrap? Would you have done the roof gray? Um, same thing with chrome. Would you have left some of the chrome? So let me know if you guys would have changed anything. But I think it looks pretty sweet. And for what it was, it just looks so much newer. So we got all of the badges and that spoiler satin black as well. Tinted lights back here. Let's look at those satin black wheels. All right, I'll pull the car outside real quick so you guys can see what it looks like in daylight. But thank you all so much for watching. If you have made it this far and have not yet subscribed, please do. I would really appreciate that so I could keep putting out content like this for you guys. But yeah, thanks again for watching and stay tuned for part five.